We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Milwaukee Brewers. Here's Colton Wong now. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. The one two. Hit out towards second. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. So the leadoff man reaches base to start out the first. In now, Tommy Edmund. And that's outside. He lost him ball four. The next to bat for St. Louis, Paul Goldschmidt. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Working for the punch out and the offering. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. Again, a 1 2. That's a great take right there. Great pitch recognition to let that one go. Opposite handed, that's coming across the plate. You might think he got a shot to stay inside that one. Swing and a line drive. Ah, but he just missed his extra bases. The 2 2 one more time. Oh, it's hit to third. Five. A tag for one. On to first, and Goldschmidt has bounced into a double play. Here's Matt Carpenter. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. Edmund stands at second with two gone. Line towards center field. Keen will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Stepping in, Lorenzo Cain. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Two, one. And he comes back with a gorgeous slider there for strike two. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Here's Brock Holt now. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. The one two. Lined into right, a base hit. At the plate now, Christian Yelich. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Thomas is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. And that'll bring up Keston Hura. Two out with the man at first. Side two and one. Three and one now. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get in the more favorable hitters counts and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. He's set. Here's the three and two. Lifted into center field. Thomas makes the catch, and the inning is over. Second inning set to go. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Yadier Molina, and it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. 
Here's the pitch. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. Now a swing as he shoots this down the right field line. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. That is good. The left field. Tyler. At the plate, Tyler O'Neill. The one-two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Hit down the line at first. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Full count, three and two. On a line to shortstop, throw back to the bag, and the runner's back in time. Coming to the plate now, Lane Thomas, and he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Hit to third. Sogard has it. And there's out number two. So that'll bring in Harrison Bader. Runner in scoring position with Sukan. No score here as we play inning number two. Fouled away. The set. And the 2-2. Two -two. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Dakota Hudson. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Hit weekly back to the mound. On to first, and the Redbird rally goes for naught as that ends the inning. Next for Milwaukee, Omar Narvaez. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. 1-1. One, one. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Started to chase there. They'll appeal it down to third. And no swing. It's ball two. 2-2. Uh, two, two. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Hit on the ground to third. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And a good try to recover that time, but he'll beat it out as he's aboard to kick off the inning. Into the box now, Avisail Garcia. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. Lays off two and two now. Now a shot out toward the alley in right center. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. So now to the plate, Eric Sogard. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. All even now, two and two. toward the gap in left center. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. The run scores from second. It's a 2-0 ball game. Batting it. The 
first baseman. Justin. Stepping in now. Justin Smoke. Two and one. Nobody out, runner on first. Into center field, line drive base hit. Into the box, Brent Anderson. And now the bunt attempt by Anderson, and it looks like a good one. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring up Lorenzo Cain. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. This is the only guy in the lineup that struck out so far, and now he finds himself in the hole with two strikes. The count now at two and two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. He'll throw home with it. They get the force at the plate. Relay to Goldie, and that gets him as well a double play. Two men on, two out, and that'll bring up the versatile utility man, Brock Holt. One and two now. Second and third, two away. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And look out as that one ran in and got him. In is Christian Yelich. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. Bases are loaded here, two down. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Swing and a ball hits softly on the ground. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Two and two. Here it is. Two out. Bases loaded. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Gone! It's a grand slam! Genesis Cabrera is going to come on in relief now, and he may be asked to eat several innings as this game is just still really getting underway. Cabrera. To the plate now, Keston Hiura. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Back up the middle. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. Standing in now, Omar Narvaez. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Borderline pitch right there. But as a low ball hitter, you can live with that as long as the umpire doesn't give him north as well. The count is two and two to the Brewers catcher. Fouled off. A runner on first with two away. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. There's ball four. So here's Avisayu Garcia. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at-bat. Yeah, it's been an offensive explosion for him today. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everyone seems to be putting barrel on baseball in this lineup. The 1-1. This is line to left. O'Neal is there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning.
Colton Wong will stand in. And they are squarely into chip away mode, looking at a 6 0 deficit already in this one. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Reined in, and an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow! Digging in for his second at-bat, Tommy Edmond. Tommy. One out, nobody on. Unable to find the zone with the slider. And this is lifted out towards straightaway center field. Kane is after it. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Stepping into the box. Paul Goldschmidt. Bases are empty here with two men out. Line to the right side. And that is in there for a two out base knock. The third base number 14. Into the box Matt now. Matt Carpenter. Carpenter. Two balls and a strike to Matt Carpenter. Two out with the man at first. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. No reason to sit on anything other than the hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. Now the payoff pitch home. And a good at-bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Sent on the ground out to second. Fielded cleanly. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Here's Eric Sogard. He was able to plate two with a base hit in his first appearance. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. In there, and it's even now, two and two. A good fastball that backed him off the plate. And then some slow stuff down and away. That's one of the classic ways to mess up a hitter's timing. Up and in, down and away, textbook. Justin Smoke, the number eight hitter here, waits on deck. Swung on and driven to right, and no doubt about it. Right fielder looking up, and this one is gone. A home run. This is the matchup you'd like as a pitcher, right? Lefty on left, but sometimes you don't win all of the battles. Gave this guy a pitch to hit, and he made him pay for it. At the plate, Justin Smoke. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Now to the plate, the pitcher, no pitcher. Brett Number Anderson. 0 for 1 with a run Brett. scored thus far. Anderson. Liner toward right center, and the pitcher's got himself a base hit. The center fielder. Number 6. Lorenzo. In now, Lorenzo Kane. Down low, two balls and a strike. Two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2-2. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. Digging in now, Brock Holt. He was drilled by a pitch his last time up. Fastball well outside. Brewer shortstop ahead with a 3-1 count. 
Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Now the one and one pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. O'Neill waits on it. And that's the third out. Ready for another chance. Tyler O'Neill hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A.B. He hit that ball on the screws. Grounded back up the middle. Scooped up. Throw will be well laid as he reaches it first. The center field number 35. Stepping in now. Lane Thomas. Sinker misses. Ball four. Now at the plate, Harrison Bader. He drew a walk his first time up. Harrison Bader. And he lays off there, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. The pitcher coming to the plate now, Genesis Cabrera. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Grounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball. One and two, the count now. Swing and a looper to left. Garcia coming on, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. But he gets back in time, safe at second base. The second base. Bases are loaded here, one man out. A ball and two strikes. Lifted the other way to left center. Garcia giving chase, but he won't get there. It falls in. One run scores. And a relay home, and he is in there. Now back. The shortstop. Tommy Edmund. To the plate now. Tommy Edmund hit well on the ground to first. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Only play will be to the pitcher covering, and the runners are able to move up. So two on with two away. And that'll bring up the big bat of Paul Goldschmidt. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. Digging in now will be Matt Carpenter. Eighth batter of the inning now with the bases loaded and two away. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. High chopper towards first. The flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. John Brebbia will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. John Digging in now for the Brewers, Keston Hiera. Lifetime versus this arm. He's one for two. Down the first baseline. The 2-2. Two -two. Bounce towards the second baseman. Taken in by Wong. And the off-balance throw beats him at first. And that's a tough play. Digging in once again, Omar Narvaez. It was a walk in his last trip. Now the 2 1. Line drive. That's a base hit into the right center field gap. He's around first, heading for two. And he'll reach second now with one away. The left fielder, number 24, Abisail Garcia. At the plate now, Abisail Garcia. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. And it's fouled away.
Good take there to lay off the high fastball. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Popped him up. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. Man at second here with two away, and that'll bring in utility man extraordinaire Eric Sogard. Well, last at that, Manny D, we heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Now batter. So it's first and second with two men gone, and in next, the switch-hitting power bat of Justin Smoke. The 3-1, and he fouls this one off. The 3-2 pitch, and he misses again. Ball four, and that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Ryan Braun will be called on as a pinch hitter here in a big, big spot. He'll have the bases loaded with two out in the inning. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him, one and two. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. And he strikes him out. So a missed opportunity at the plate as he strands three runners and the side is retired. Your Brent Suter please. will come on and make now his fourth appearance in this campaign. Number 35. Brent. Leading off the inning, Yadier Molina, and they'll need him to get something going here. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going, and the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. This is gathered in out there by Garcia for the first out. So coming to the plate, Tyler O'Neill, one for two in the ball game thus far. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. Striding in, Lane Thomas. Two runs, five hits. One error for the Cardinals to this point. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. In tight with the slider, two and two. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full. Three and two. Grounded to third. Sogard is there. Throw on to smoke at first, and the side is retired. John Gant will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. In now is Lorenzo Kane. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. You know, Matty, tough to go down looking right there, especially in a long at bat. I kind of tip my hat to the fact that he didn't go into uber swing mode. He battled. He just got locked up. Look for him to have another quality A-B. I think he's seeing the ball pretty darn big right now. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up the versatile utility man, Brock Holt. Wisely lays off the cut fastball there. It's two and one. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. Waiting next, there's Christian Yelich. Hard on the ground towards short. And a base hit into left field, so they've got themselves a one-out base runner. So now to the plate, Christian Yelich on the ground to the right side. One there. Back to the pitcher, covering. It's a double play, and the inning is over.
New inning set to get underway. Digging in to try it again. Harrison Bader. It was a walk in his last trip. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. You do not want to walk the eight-hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt them over to second with the nine-hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Number 34, Gyro Mugno. Sliced hard on the ground. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Here's the second baseman, Colton Wong. Colton Wong. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Garcia has a read on it. And that retires the side. Number 62 is ready, and he'll take the ball from the manager. Number 62. Striding forward now, the Brewers' cleanup hitter, Keston Hiera, and he'll try to start things out here for the Brewers in their half of the sixth. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Digging in and looking for more, Omar Narvaez. He doubled earlier and carries a two-for-two two line into this appearance. Heading out towards shallow right. Right fielder giving chase. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So here is Avisayo Garcia. The left fielder. Two out, nobody on. Garcia. Grounded to first. Goldschmidt will take this to the bag himself, and with that, the inning comes to a close. Seventh inning ready to roll. Now in the box, Tommy Edmond. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Standing in, Paul Goldschmidt. He singled earlier, making him one for two to this point. Now the one and one pitch. Outside, that's the ball. in the air down the line in left and this will wind up a foul ball a bouncer to the left side fielded by Sogard and there are two away now so now it'll be the four hole hitter Matt Carpenter no hits to this point two runs five hits one error for the Cardinals to this point and this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Yadier Molina would be next if they can keep this in. Big swing by Carpenter, and this is out to deep right. Out of here, into the visitors' bullpen. Standing in now, Yadier Molina. Line drive to center field. Is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Ryan Helsley gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. So stepping in, Eric Sogard. He homered back in the third inning in this one. The 3 1. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. The 3 2 pitch. Lifted the other way out to left center. O'Neill waits on it. One down. Digging in the switch hitter, Justin Smoke. It was a walk in his last trip. 
Look into Molina. Now the 1-1. One, one. I got two on the count. Bases are empty. One man out. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Fouled away. Fastball is outside, and it's full now. Three and two. Fouled off. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Good battle. Count remains full. Payoff pitch one more time. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Ben Gamble will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Ben Gamble. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Helsley, originally from the Sooner State of Oklahoma, he was a fifth-round pick back in the 2015 MLB draft. Hey, this middle round selection is still developing, but he's doing it at the big league level. And he has a lot of time to get his tool set ironed out. Now the payoff pitch home. That's lifted the other way out to left. O'Neill waits on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Alex Claudio will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Number 58, Alex. So digging in now, Tyler O'Neill. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. The count now at 2-1. and one. Here it comes. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. Claudio has seen his role change with those one batter lefty specialists going the way of the dodo as a part of MLB's pace of play initiatives. The three two pitch. Slow little roller to third. Sogard's got to be quick. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. Ready now, Lane Thomas. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. Runner is back. Slow roller left side. And this is going to work out for him. It's an infield single to make it first and the second back. now. The right fielder, Harrison Bader. At the plate, Harrison Bader. And he misses again, ball three. Well, tying run on deck. He should get something really good to hit right here in a 3 1 count. I'd be sitting on a fastball middle end. And he takes ball four again. And they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. Tight spot. Base is loaded. Nobody out. Takes a look at a change up there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Here he comes again, one, two. Two and two. 
Hit hard back up the middle. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Holt for one. Back to first, so they get the double play, but the run does come in to score. Josh Hader has yeah, called upon with two out in the eighth as he's Colton. asked to complete a four-out save. Colton Wong will be his first assignment upon entering as he'll bat with the runner in scoring position here and two away. The 1-1. One, one. Pulled toward right center field. Keane will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Andrew Miller is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Lorenzo Kane struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Helping him out here as he swings and misses to fall behind a ball in two strikes. And it's fouled away. Try again, one, two. Slider laid off for a ball. Now this guy's a grinder, fouls off good pitches, and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. And he'll strike out here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Not your problem. On the ground to third. Carpenter has it. The throw will be in time at first, and Miller's got it rolling here. Two away. So two gone now in the Brewers' half of the eighth, and that'll bring up Christian Yelich. Bases are empty here with two men out. One and two for Christian Yelich. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Into the box now. Tommy Edmond. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. They look like they're up against it here. Down three on the road. Trying to come back against the closer. Two balls and a strike to count. Three balls and a strike to the Cardinals shortstop. If you're at the plate in this situation, you're only thinking one thing, and that is get on base. You got three balls. It has to be perfect over those 17 inches for you to pull a trigger. A walk is as good as a knock right here. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Running hard. He's digging for second. And a good way to start the ninth as he's in with a leadoff double. The first baseman, in now, Paul Goldschmidt lofted in the air out toward right center. Yelich is under it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. And now the Cardinals' number four hitter, Matt Carpenter, is working on a one for three thus far. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. You know, in this situation, you almost have to pitch like there's no one on base. That run really doesn't mean anything with the lead they've got. The hitter is the guy that can turn this game on its head. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Yanni Molina digging in now, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Cardinals down to their final strike here. Not quick enough that time, and he's lucky to get another chance. Count remains full. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. And look out. That's in very tight, and it's ball four. Big spot here. First and second. Two men gone. And into bat next will be Tyler O'Neill. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. 
Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the now moment. Battle. So a big moment here in standing in, Lane Thomas. But a single here could reduce the deficit to only one. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed. And now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. To two balls and two strikes now. And now a crowd right around 25,000 strong comes to their feet. Breaking ball well inside and taken for ball three. Harrison Bader would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Hard hit at third. Sogard has it. Throw to first here in time for the final out. And the Brewers have taken games one and two here at home as this one is over. Yeah, they need him a little bit earlier in this one. But he takes the mound in the eighth and records the final four outs. Four outs save. Job well done. Seven to four is the final score in tonight's game. The Brewers took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Brent Suter gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Dakota Hudson was unable to work out of the second inning as he sat with the loss. Josh Hader gets a four-out save, his third of the campaign. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. for our ball game tonight. For the Victoria Brewers, Kevin Brown's 11 hit. One error, they left nine men on base. For St. Louis, four runs on eight hits. One error, they left 12 men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 24 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.